Welcome to KU Patshala, a novel initiative of the University of Kerala to archive educative videos. Cliff is taking part in this venture wherein we are exposing the instruments being housed in the Cliff campus for the benefit of people who want to use the facility for their research purposes. The facility is managed by qualified technicians, highly trained, as well that governed or managed by uh, faculty who are all experts in the, in the field. The idea behind housing all the instruments in the one roof is that not only that you will be able to use the instrument but also get the feel of how exactly an instrument is functioning. For that matter, we are encouraging people to come to Cliff while their samples are analyzed so that they will be able to understand how the instrument is functioning to get the desired results. We have qualified faculty as well as outside experts who will be speaking during the video uh, filming on the application value of each instrument being housed in this. The central instrumentation facility which is being housed in the Carioton campus has got about 21 equipments, high-end equipments being supported by different organizations in the country. I am not going to the details of the functioning of the instrument as is going to be demonstrated uh, in the videos. So I welcome you to view the videos and straight away we see the videos about the functioning of the instruments which are housed in the Cliff campus. Thank you very much. Hello all, I am Dr. Sunish C.V. an assistant professor at the Department of Chemistry, University of Kerala. The Central Laboratory for Instrumentation and Facilitation, CLIF, University of Kerala is housed with a simultaneous thermal analyzer, STA8000 from Perkin Elmer. In this video, we would like to introduce and familiarize this instrument to the students, faculties and other stakeholders. Fundamental question is, why we need to use a thermal analyzer or what is the use of a thermal analyzer? basic principle of thermal analysis technique is that heat flow into a substance induce many physical and chemical changes which can help to identify and characterize the material. Basically, thermal analysis is a group of techniques which measures the change in a property of material as it is subjected to a change in temperature in a specified atmosphere. There are several types or methods of thermal analysis. These are distinguished from one another by property which is measured during the change in temperature. Our instrument is basically a thermogrammetric analyzer or a TGA instrument. Here the property measured is the mass or weight of the sample. That is in TGA the change in weight of the sample is measured as the temperature is increased usually linearly with time. There are three principal components in a TGA instrument. The heart of this instrument is a highly sensitive micro balance. Sample pan is connected to this micro balance. The sample in the pan is enclosed in a furnace which can be heated to a desired temperature using the temperature controller. In this instrument, we can also control the atmospheric gases which are exposed to the sample. In a typical TGA experiment, we will take a small amount of sample, say 10 milligram sample. In a crucible, which is usually made of silica, alumina, nickel or platinum to name a few. As already mentioned, the sample pan will be connected to the micro balance. Then we will slowly increase the temperature of the sample by giving heat to the furnace at a particular heating rate. We will measure the weight of the sample throughout this experiment. In this instrument, the result obtained is a thermogram, which is a plot of weight or weight percentage as a function of temperature or time. We can consider a typical example of decomposition of calcium oxalate monohydrate. In the thermogram obtained, we can clearly see three weight losing regimes as the temperature is increased. 
these correspond to loss of water molecule that is the water of crystallization then carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide a derivative weight loss curve dtg can also be used to tell the point at which weight loss is most apparent hence we will get an account of all the weight losing and weight gaining processes happening in the sample using this instrument we will be able to study the various physical and chemical processes in material the physical processes which can be investigated include gas adsorption gas desorption and phase transitions like vaporization and sublimation various chemical processes like decomposition breakdown reaction gas reactions and chemisorptions can also be investigated using this instrument application of thermogrammetric analysis includes the characterization of thermal stability and purity of various materials it can also be used to find out the humidity that is the water content in materials tga is also used to investigate corrosion of materials in the presence of oxygen or any other reactive gases and kinetics of various reactions happening in materials can also be analyzed using this techniques as the name of this instrument suggests it is not merely a thermogrammetric analyzer but simultaneously it also gives a dsc data that is differential scanning colorimetric data dsc is one of the most important and widely used thermal analysis techniques here in dsc the heat flow into a sample or out of the sample is measured as a function of temperature using this various endothermic and exothermic processes happening in the sample can be studied dsc data can be used to analyze the variety of uh, properties of materials and processes happening in them these include specific heat capacity melting and crystallization behavior solid state reactions polymorphism degree of crystallinity glass transitions oxidative stability decomposition behavior purity determination so on and so forth as i already mentioned avos is a simultaneous thermal analyzer where you will get both tga and dsc data advantage of simultaneous thermal analyzer when compared with the independent tga and dsc instruments is that it can be used for the detection of multiple events taking place in the sample that is for example nature of heat changes accompanying mass losses can be investigated suppose if there is a sublimation happening to the sample material definitely you will get a weight loss data in tg and simultaneously an endothermic heat flow data that is characteristics of sublimation is also obtained in dsc hence you will get more clarity regarding the sublimation processes happening using this sta instrument when compared with the results obtained from two independent tga and dsc instruments a wide range of materials can be analyzed using this instrument it includes polymers plastics composites adhesives food coatings pharmaceuticals organic materials rubber petroleum explosives and even biological samples instrumentation and working of this simultaneous thermal analyzer sta8000 will be explained in detail to you by the technical person Hi, I am Arya Sen MC, working as technical officer at Cliff University of Kerala, Kariyattam campus. Today, we have a lab demonstration section on simultaneous thermal analyzer. Heat flow into a substance induces many physical and chemical changes, which can be helped to identify and characterize the material. Now, we are focusing into the thermal analysis technique, that is, Perkelenmer simultaneous thermal analyzer 8000. which enables a real time measurement and analysis of the sample metrics in one compact lab instrument integrated with pyris manager software it amazingly generates dual thermograms in a single analytical run measuring both weight and heat changes as a function of temperature or time in control atmospheres meanwhile improves productivity as well as enables simplified interpretation of data this sta generally refers to the simultaneous application of thermogravimetry 
that is DGA and di differential scanning calorimetry that is DSE to one and same sample in a single instrument. Thermogrammetric analysis TGA measures the change of weight of a sample as a function of a temperature profile. Differential scanning calorimetry DSC measures the energy absorbed or released from the sample as a function of time or a temperature profile. The basic principle underlying this technique is that when the sample undergoes a physical transformation such as phase transitions, more or less heat will need to flow to it than the reference to maintain both at the same temperature. Whether less or more heat must flow to the sample depends on whether the process is exothermic or endothermic. By observing the difference in the heat flow between the sample and the reference, differential scanning calorimeters are able to measure the amount of heat absorbed or released during such transitions. Generally, the temperature program for a DSC analysis is designed such that the sample holder temperature increases linearly as a function of time. Simultaneously, TGA is a type of testing that is performed on samples to determine the changes in the weight in relation to the changes in temperature. A derivative weight loss can be used to tell the point at which the weight loss is more apparent. Let's see the instrumentation of Thermal Analysis Detection Unit which comprises of corrosion resistant furnace which can go up to 1600 degrees Celsius. Top loading micro balance situated below furnace for optimum isolation from contamination and also for the ease of sample loading. There are two platforms that connect to the micro balance via the sensor. When seen from the front of the analyzer, the right hand platform is for the reference pan and the left hand platform is for the sample pan. This is the exact unit that is inside the ST analyzer. The second one is the temperature control unit which controls the furnace temperature. Next is the data recording unit which records the signals of the sensor and the sample temperature. Next is the chiller. The rapid cooling rate of the furnace is achieved by mounting the furnace in a liquid cooled jacket with temperature higher than 15 degrees Celsius that is non-condensing state. During operation, the cooling liquid flow should be between 0.5 and 1 liter per minute. Distilled water is maintained at a particular level and maintain the temperature of the chiller at 15 degrees Celsius during analysis. The cooling jacket is nickel plated to reduce the heating power at high temperature. STA run in either nitrogen atmosphere or oxygen atmosphere by maintaining the gas at 50 PSA or 4 bar and purging pressure to the instrument maintained between 2 to 3 bar by means of a manifold regulator. One thermocouple is placed in an inert material such as Al2O3 while the other is placed in a sample of the material under study. As the temperature is increased, there will be a brief deflection of the voltage if the sample is undergoing a phase transition. Now, let's move on to the working mode of STA analyzer. Turn on the STA8000 analyzer. Open Pyris software and enter the running details in the method editor. Enter the details of the same such as sample ID as calcium oxalate. Click on browse to navigate to the folder we want to save data. Move to initial stage tab to provide initial temperature. Click on program icon to set the temperature scan. Select purging gas and select gas flow rate around 21 ml per minute for the run. Set the end temperature as 1020 and run at the rate of 10 degrees Celsius per minute. Click on view program to see the final program set it for the run. Now we can load the sample. First of all open the lid. Then we can place the reference pan which consists of our reference material that is Al2O3. The reference have to be placed at the right holder of the sensor. We have to place the empty ceramic pan for the weight stabilization. Then close the lid. Click on zero weight to tear the pan and load sample. 
after stabilization we can load the sample around 3 to 4 mg in the sample pan holder Now sample has loaded, close the lid and wait for stabilization. Wait until the stabilization to complete in order to attain stable weight and weight percentage of the loaded sample. After getting a clear screen like this, we can conclude that loaded sample attains stable weight and weight percentage. Now, we can click sample weight icon to enter weight percentage as 100 and start analysis. During the process of data acquisition, the data indication turns red. Once analysis gets started, we can see the weight and weight percentage changing during the temperature ramping. The elapsed time and the remaining time for the analysis is visible now in the Pyrus software. This is the program after run and will be completed in 1 hour 38 minutes. After that, instrument will take approximately 30 minutes to cool down to room temperature by means of integrated chiller unit maintained at 15 degrees Celsius. This is the thermogram generated by STA which consists of simultaneously the thermogrammetry that is TGA and differential scanning calorimetry that is DSE in a single analytical run. This improves productivity as well as enables simplified interpretation of data. We can find out the weight loss percentage in each stage by means of calc tab like this. We can clearly see three weight losing regimes as the temperature is increased. These correspond to loss of water molecule that is water of crystallization then carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. A derivative weight loss curve that is DTG can be used to tell the point at which weight loss is most apparent. These are the various phenomena happening to the loaded sample and corresponded thermogram behaviors for weight and heat changes. STA finds major applications in every field due to thermal related material characterizations like melting, crystallization, oxidative stability, combustion analysis, purity study, polymorphism, thermal stabilities, glass transitions, quantitative content of the analysis etc. I hope this analytical segment is informative for you with the aspect of thermal analysis. Thanks for watching.